All right, so I'm currently headed to my second wrestling training session ever. Uh, just like the Muay Thai training sessions, I didn't really record the first one just because I didn't want to bring a camera in and I didn't know how the coaches were going to feel about that. But now I know for a fact I'm able to record. And yeah, just like the first training session, I'm still getting used to being in that ring. They're not really making me do a lot of advanced things, obviously. I'm learning how to do rolls. I learned how to take a bump, which... Weirdly enough, I'm actually kind of scared of taking a bump. It's just like a fear I got to get over. Because at the end of the day, the body is not used to just falling on the floor without really protecting itself the way we're accustomed to. I got to like keep my chin tucked down, hips up. It's, it's a whole process. And that's honestly what surprised me the most about professional wrestling is the fact that one little move I see on TV that I think is very easy requires, I don't know why this sounded. I gotta take so many things into consideration when I'm doing even the simplest of moves, especially footwork. Footwork is the most important thing in professional wrestling, or at least what I think is the most important thing as of right now, because I haven't learned that much. And obviously in regards to wrestling gear, I don't really have any, because I just started, so I'm gonna be using these shoes. With those, I would say I'm 5'10 and a half. Depends on who you ask. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to let height stop me from achieving what I want to achieve throughout this journey and in professional wrestling. I mean this in the most humble way possible, but I want to be able to make a change, make an impact in the world of professional wrestling. Either way, I'm talking too much right now. I'm headed over to the training session right now, and uh, I'll pick it back up once I'm there. So, Also, one last thing. Since this video is going to be the first time uh, anyone watches me wrestle ever. I guess uh, this video is the birth of superstar Jason Day. And uh, it just feels a little surreal. I'm pretty excited. So yeah, I'll pick it back up over there.
so I just got out of my wrestling training session. I'm about to hit the shower, I'm completely exhausted. My thoughts on it from an athletic standpoint, I would say I'm not falling too far behind. I would actually say I'm picking things up pretty quickly. Uh, but from a technical wrestling standpoint, obviously there's a lot of work to do. Just because I just started, I have no idea what I'm doing. My thoughts on that, I would say is I have to prioritize footwork. And again, it's just even the simplest of moves have the most extensive process behind it. As you saw, I was uh, learning how to do a pin. Something that any wrestling fan knows is a very basic and fundamental thing in the world of professional wrestling. And uh, you know, you saw the explanation that they had to give me. And that was just for the, they call it the schoolboy pin, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, which is pretty much the most basic one. But without a doubt, the most difficult part for me is the bumps, the bumps. I'm actually scared of taking a bump. It's just a mental block and a fear that I pretty much have to break away from. And yeah, I'm just scared to do it. Um, as you saw there, I was doing the back bumps, obviously, and then the front bumps. I learned how to do a front bump, which is basically when you fall on your face. And uh, it's scary. It's not fun. And for a second, I was sort of hesitant to continue to do that. And yeah, as much as I uh, wanted to quit, during the bumps, uh, obviously I'm not going to. I have to do this, I have to continue doing this. Even if it hurts, even if I'm scared, those are the sacrifices that you have to make in order to become a star, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So yeah, so this was Becoming a Star Episode 2. Episode 3 is coming soon. And of course, never forget that no light can outshine a superstar. I'll see you in Episode 3.